birds may know the way to reach the dark, where the wild sweetness of a hillside is distilled in a hive under grass. Words may tell how the rhythm of tide can soften its soft voice on the shore through music it steals when stone confides. Art related pretty much my whole life. My interest was there. I was always making stuff. You know, I loved to push stuff around, push me around. High school, I think I was the only guy that had like five periods of art. What do you do after that? Where do you take it? Art Center rejected, the county rejected. <clears throat> Chenard accepted me. You know, my final year, my studio years, I had Emerson Wolfer and Matsumi Kanemitsu, um, who I latched onto as where I can get the meat of what I want, what I think art is about. I grew up with that notion of what American abstract is. Michael Fried saying, you know, American art, American painting is something you recognize as soon as you walk into the room that that piece is gonna hit you, bam. So, okay, you have this notion and you have this desire, but then it comes to a point is, what do you paint? Here I am in my 75th year, and I've given all these thoughts and <clears throat> painted through all these issues, you know, all these kind of like funny notions of what art can be, could be. And what am I gonna do to move forward to, to scratch that itch, uh, to make that mark? And I listen to the poetry and read the things that I read and I say, I really love this stuff. How can I tell the story without painting or illustrating? It got to well, I can write it out. So I have these little books that I pick up when I travel, little sketchbooks. And so what I do, I took that paint, that poem, and I wrote it out. I wrote it out, and then I went backwards on it, went the other way. And then I started writing out the whole poem and then going back and writing it backwards. Yet the beginning of this body of work and this approach to painting came out of this stuff. So now I'm looking at them saying, they're actually drawings. They are sketches. They become the sketch of my painting. So now it's like, let me graduate. I used to paint with plexiglass. I used to paint with you know, just scraping and scratching and I want to be more definitive. So now I'm making a commitment to the brush. So to me now, what's left is a visual that can be interpreted on its own merit. And I'm totally confident uh, because I see so much going on and uh, an answer to a lot of my questions about abstract American painting. <laughs>